A present day everyone, welcome to our session for today. So today we are going to continue our discussion on the derivative of the derivatives of transcendental functions. So specifically, we will uh, continue our discussions on the derivative of trigonometric functions. All right. So last time we have uh, solved two examples. Uh, for this topic so now we will solve the, the third example so this is the one of the items that I have given you uh, last time in our previous video which I ask you to practice uh, have you solved this problem yet yeah. so third problem we have uh, h of x so we're given h of x equal to cotangent 5x times secant square uh, quantity x squared plus 1 okay so to solve this problem class if you look at the given it's in the form of product okay so since it's in the form of product we will use the uh, product rule in differentiation so what what is that uh, product rule in differentiation if you are given say derivative of u times v Okay, with respect to x so this is equal to u times the derivative of v with respect to x then plus v times the derivative of u with respect to x so we are going to use this formula no? because it's, it is in the uh, product form all right so that is for the product rule and for the derivative of trigonometric functions so we have the derivative of uh, derivative of cotangent no? if we're given cotangent u right with respect to x this is equal to negative cosecant squared u times the derivative of u with respect to x okay and for the secant so derivative of secant u okay so this is u all right secant u with respect to x so this is equal to secant u times tangent u times the derivative of u with respect to x so we're going to use these uh, three formulas in finding the derivative of the given function okay so h prime of x right so h prime of x is equal to so applying the formula r u here uh, by the way class uh, you have to uh, take note that for for this formula okay for the formula the, the one colored in black so this will be r u as a whole all right this is r u as a whole and this is our v as a whole all right now for the trigonometric uh, functions formula of the derivative so this is our u okay so this is our u okay so when you use this uh, formula so this is our u okay for the first factor and this also our other u okay so that is the u that is referred to in this uh, formula but for the first one the whole thing is considered as u and this one considered as v so take note on that so that you will not be uh, confused about the u so u is different for or different uh, uh, formulas 
okay so following this formula we have derivative of u times v with respect to x is equal to u so our u is the cotangent cotangent 5x times the derivative of v okay so our v is secant secant x squared plus 1 with respect to x then plus v so our v is secant of x squared plus 1 times the derivative of u so our u is cotangent 5x with respect to x all right so now we are applying this formula class now our, in our first line of our solution we are applying this formula okay the colored black formula now for the continuation of our solution so let us now apply this formula okay so i will use another color here so just copy this one so cotangent of 5x times derivative of secant what is the derivative of secant so derivative of secant u is equal to we are uh, we have secant uh, trig trigonometric functions here so derivative of this so we will use this formula all right so derivative of secant u is equal to secant u times tangent u times derivative of u with respect to x so as i mentioned uh, our u now is this one all right so when you use the trigonometric functions formula so we have to use this so this is our u for our first factor so uh, derivative of secant is secant u or derivative of secant u is equal to secant u times tangent u so you write secant so what is our u? Our u here is this one. X squared plus 1. So x squared plus 1 times tangent u. So tangent u, our u is again x squared plus 1. Then times the derivative of u. So our u is so derivative of u is x squared plus 1 with respect to x okay so we are just for this part all right then plus so for this part so you just copy this one we have secant x squared plus 1 times so what is the derivative of cotangent so derivative of cotangent is so here cotangent u equal to minus cosecant squared u so our u here for cotangent is 5x so this is times minus cosecant squared u our u is 5x then times the derivative of u it means derivative of our u is 5x with respect to x all right then uh, simplifying and rearranging or before that uh, let us uh, rewrite this cotangent 5x and multiplied by secant x squared plus 1 times tangent x squared plus 1 times derivative of x squared plus 1 so apply the sum rule and power rule so derivative of x squared is 2x derivative of 1 is 0 1 is constant so derivative of constant is 0 so plus we have uh, secant 
x squared plus 1 times negative negative cosecant squared of 5x then times the derivative of 5x with respect to x that is equal to 5 okay so now rearranging so we can write this 2x first so we have 2x times cotangent 5x times secant x squared plus 1 times tangent x squared plus 1 then plus oh sorry uh, okay so we'll oh, we have to multiply this negative so negative times positive so this negative so negative so we can write uh, 5 first we can write the constant 5 first so, so times 5 multiplied by uh, secant x squared plus 1 then multiplied by cosecant squared of 5x okay so this is negative because this is uh, this factor is negative or this part of the uh, expression here this is negative so negative times positive so this is negative okay and if you look at uh, this is our first term class this is our first term composed of many factors this is our second term and let us check if there is common factor on this term so if you look at this one so we have a term here that is secant x squared plus one okay we also have here secant of the quantity x x squared plus one so we can factor out that common uh, common factor so we can write that first so secant x squared plus 1 so this is a common factor and multiplied to, uh, it means that you have to divide this by the common factor which is this one so what is left is uh, 2 times x times cotangent 5x then times tangent x squared plus 1 okay and then minus so this already factored out so we have 5 times cosecant squared 5x okay so when you put it uh, inside the bracket so it means uh, this one this is the common factor so when you multiply it back so it will go back to this original expression okay so this is our uh, final answer so this is our h prime of x so i hope you understand this one class and uh, if you have any question just uh, send me your message in our group chat or chat group or you may comment uh, below no, for, in the, for this video thank you very much uh, see you in our next uh, example in our next video uh, stay safe always and healthy always god bless bye